I was really excited when I learned that Reaper would handle video. But now in Reaper 4, video handling has improved further. So I thought it was time maybe to do another tutorial. Let me start off by saying, though, that there are no effects, no filters. You can't fade, you can't fix color, you can't have transitions. Uh, but we'll use the limitations of the medium and make that our style. These are uh, the files that I'm using that, I, that I'm going to turn into a music video. I've got some stills. I, I made sure these are the same size as my video frame, 1280 by 720. And I grabbed some stills out of the video and I'll use these as a kind of a stop motion intro effect. I will uh, use the Reaper audio capability to improve the sound that I captured with the Zoom Q3 HD. Here we go, firing up Reaper. Now, I like to just drag and drop out of the Windows Explorer. So, good old session two, I've got my color clip, and uh, then I've got my, my hands shot. Reaper uh, shows us the bottom track. Then our last uh, bit of video is the main face shot. And looks like that. Let's use our clap point to line up the clips. Just zoom in. The closer you get, the more obvious it is. And position the cursor at that point. And when it gets down to this level, you get pretty obviously that we're in sync. Yeah, a single clap, not two. The first thing I'm going to do is go through and edit out the verses, reduce the length, and get rid of some places where my playing was less than stellar. Two, two, three, four, two, three, four, There's the uh, other song in the medley. This medley was created by the late great Leonard Kwan. That's pretty well marked. Now the next thing we want to do is edit out the bad stuff. So we want to cut six and seven. Let's mark these guys. Go to six, slice, go to eight, slice, turn on ripple editing and select that chunk and delete it. Okay, and then let's check and see how our edit worked. Uh, close, but no cigar. So let's get in there and look at the audio and see what we did wrong there. Yeah. So it looks to me like we got our... bass bump happening twice so let's just get one of those you can kind of see that thump there where where the uh, bass string gets hit now let's check our snapping we're going to snap media item selection and cursor we don't want to snap to the grid but we do want to snap to those things and we don't care about that and we want to snap media items okay those things all look good let's try that so that'll help us line this stuff up and now all right now the sound is good right but the video jumps but we'll We'll bring in some other little clip or do a cutaway or something so that the uh, the video will look okay. One of the tricks we're going to do is move this guy right here. We're going to move that video. Let's make a selection of that video. And copy selected area. And then we'll go down here. And we'll paste it. And so now, 
in your plane line. Uh, but what we want to do is turn off our uh, this audio. So we'll do that by using the item properties. We hit F2 and we get item properties and now we can turn the audio down on that. Now let's see how that works. Yeah, that works good. So that's one of our tricks. We're going to cut in and out of in and out of the uh, the alternate shot. The other thing we're going to do is uh, bring in our title. We got titles one, two, and three, and we want them to come in right over here. So something like that. Yeah, that's good. And then we're going to get our other two uh, titles. Our snapping is on, so, yep, snaps to there, and then one more, title three. Snaps in there, and then let's see how that feels. And boom, switch to the guitar, Fran Guidry, too long W down, and switch back. Yeah, that's not bad. The next thing we have is some cute little stills that we do right where the thumb goes down. So watch this. Right there, we'll mark one. There, we'll mark one. There, we'll mark one. And there. And now, at those markers, we're going to put our... Uh, little stills. We got one, two, three, and four. And then we just go in and drag each one over. When you get, you know, you have so many options for snapping. So you can snap just what you need to just what you need. Let's see how this all comes together now. My Yellow Ginger Lay by me. My website. clap to sync everything up and our cute little still now that that black shot there will not appear in the rendered version the only other place we need to cover is right in here. We want to cover that transition. And I have one more little bit of video. Let's turn Ripple off before we start moving things around. What do you say? Hey, there you go. Now let's see what our picture looks like here and get our sound lined up on it too. start.
So that's where we'll end that little bit of video. And that will cover that video transition there and make us look all real smooth. What I'd like to do is have this part of the audio unaffected, but as soon as the music starts, I want some effects. Um, I have an effects chain, actually, that I've designed for this process. I call it the Q3HD guitar effects chain. And so hitting that puts all these effects to work all at one time, and I get this kind of a sound. Bigger and richer, louder, more compressed, and, and some reverb. The trouble is, of course, I don't want that on, on here. I don't want that as part of the, the incidental sound that leads into the uh, clip. So, what are we going to do? Well, Reaper's got a solution. Let's go here and select our stuff and slice it. Now, we have separated all the music from the non-music. So, we can kill the effects here with one click. We can select a take, hit F2, do take effects effects chains and add the uh, the guitar chain take effects and again take effects Q3 HD guitar now no effects on the clap music starts okay I think that's what we're looking for now the only thing that remains is to render it out control alt R we're gonna use the FFmpeg encoder this is a big part of what makes video so groovy in Reaper these days we're setting it to an MP4 format, which gives us an H.264 codec. I'm using PCM audio, uh, you know, uncompressed. Uh, a very high 9,000 uh, K-bit bit rate, uh, 30 frame per second, 29.97 frames, a 1287 20 frame size. And uh, that should give me a pretty decent video to hand off to YouTube. So uh, here we go. I'm pretty impressed with the power that the Reaper development team has managed to cram into Reaper in terms of handling video. It's a very pleasant way to work. It comes up quick. You don't have to do transcoding. You don't have to convert formats, you know, to, to get it in. You don't have to log and transfer uh, files to get them into the video editor. You just drag and drop them on the timeline. And, of course, you've got great access to audio tools. So if what you're doing is music video... Uh, you're you're in the right ballpark as soon as you start here with Reaper. I hope you found that useful. Please visit us at www.homebrewedmusic.com